Okay. I think we are finally live. What's going on? What's going on, dreams, baby? What's going on, dream boats? Ah, I got a quick sip there. <coughs> All right, that's much better. Sorry, starting a little late. A little late on dreams here tonight. I, uh, as you may know or may not know, I recently got a new PS4 via Matt Thomas. And I booted up Dreams for the first time on this, and it made me sit through the entire tutorial all over again. It's very irritating. Realistically, it's not that long. I don't know. It's probably about 15, 20 minutes long, but it was really uh, obnoxious to sit through when I said I was going to stream at 6, and I had to have the uh, game teach me how to use it all over again. Not necessary. It's even tied to, like, my... PlayStation account and everything. I don't know. Anyway, enough complaining. We're live. Dreams is happening. How we doing? The weekend is upon us. A little Saturday stream for you. Not usually caught streaming on Saturdays, but happen to be home alone. Home alone on a Saturday night with nothing else to do. So I thought, why not start early? A little stream action tonight. And, um... We'll go, go for a long one, perhaps. I'm thinking, I said it last time, I wanted to do some dreams. I wanted to really sit down and spend some time with this because there's a ton of stuff that I'm interested in playing in dreams right now. So I thought, why don't we kick back, have kind of a chill stream, see what we can find, what kind of trouble we can get into. And then uh, after that, depending on how we're feeling, might jump into a new horror game what I've been talking about playing for a really long time since last year called, yeah, I still don't know how to pronounce it. I believe it's Moon Down. Moon Down? <laughs> Moon Down? We might play that tonight too. Uh, but we're going to spend like an hour or two in Dreams first and see what we can find. I've got a huge play later queue. And here, a ton of stuff. That I've bookmarked to check out. So we're going to just run through that one by one tonight. And we'll see how many we get through. All sorts of weird stuff in here. Um, some more Dreamscom demos that we didn't quite get to. Last time I played Dreams. And um, some other random stuff thrown in between. So we'll see what happens. We might play a bunch of these. We might just play a few. Just depends on in what way they occupy our time tonight. And I think... I might do... Oh, I probably shouldn't have hit that. It's going to make me go through a tutorial, isn't it? Oh, no. Instant regret. Can we leave? Can we leave? Can we get out? Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm sorry. You're going to tolerate this tutorial. I don't know what this is. It's really obnoxious. I guess maybe some of my save data like didn't carry over to the new console. So, like, it doesn't... Music videos, it doesn't seem to know that I've done all this already. Made by dreamers just like you. I really hope this isn't Dream expensive. Is a never -ending, ever um, stream of dreamers imagination. Because I'm signed in, so let's like it. Try it out. No, let's not. Let's get, take me back. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Welcome okay. to Dream Come on. Surfing. There's no need for Explore this. Explore all that the dreamerverse has to offer. We know. We know. Or if you don't know, you this is Dreams. Um, it's a really, really cool PlayStation exclusive. And what makes it so cool is that everything here, um, everything you, you see here is user-created content. None of this ships with the game. It is all stuff that people have created using the tools provided with Dreams and have come up with all sorts of different experiences. And it's pretty incredible what people come up with. I, I'm always impressed and surprised every single time we boot up Dreams. Uh, what I'm going to start with, this will be a good thing, I think, to just kind of intro the game and get the stream started as we chat and catch up here. Um, I've, a couple of weeks ago, I guess there was like a, <laughs> there was a virtual music festival taking place inside Dreams. So I wanted to... Walk around and check this out. Dreams Fest. 
I, th I think you could spend, from my understand, hours inside this creation alone, which we're not going to do. Story mode, music mode. <clears throat> I guess we'll do story mode. We're not going to spend hours in this. Uh, we're just going to kind of walk around and take a look and see what's happening. We're a few weeks late to Dreams Fest. Same way we were a few weeks late to Dreamscom. Because I think if you'd played this when it was really popping, you'd see other users walking around and doing things. But this is like a... This is like a community jam, I think. Kind of thing. Like a lot of different people worked on this in tandem. Let me do a quick audio check here. It's a little loud. Let's see. Thing of Dreams, because it is all... User content is that sometimes the audio can just be way louder. Um, let's turn down the music a little bit. With our motion controls here. Let's turn down to a seven. I think that's a little bit better. Let's see. Does it sound a little bit better on this? Testing, testing. I think that's a little bit better. Audio, audio. All right, Dreams Fest. Sorry if I sound a little hoarse tonight. Um, I've been laid out with my second dose of COVID all week. Woo, we made it. My second bout with COVID. Wow, this new imp phone can do everything. Have you used yours? That's emotes, we got emotes. <laughs> That's how I felt when I took my COVID test on Monday morning. Um, yeah, I've been laid out with it, which admittedly Story mission one we want to show <laughs> oh Hey everybody, take it easy You ain't getting in without a risk. Is this like a real music Why festival or is this like fire fest? Oh jeez, I should have listened to my mother and been a teacher. What level of hey, involvement did John Rule ja ja have in this? Know anything about internet access? The machines are down and I ain't like <laughs> We're only gonna take a look at this particular part it's of Dreams for a little a bit. Over here. Listen, I didn't realize it was like story around, mission oriented. I thought it was just kind of an open well, world explorer. Brew a little Wi-Fi. Some tin foil, something metal, uh maybe some coconuts will do the trick. I don't know, I'm desperate here. What do you say? Uh um, oh, whatever. Thank you. Hey, Pikmin. hurry up before these hippies roast me, huh? Coconuts, foil, and something metal? Uh, alright. I just go in here? No? Come here? No? Are we gonna do it or are we gonna do it? Do we have to find it, like, out here? Sleeping bag. Okay, so it is kind of like Firefest. I have to, like, find all my own resources to survive. Um, yeah, I've been laid up with COVID the last couple of days. Second time I've had it, though, admittedly, nowhere near as bad as the first time that I had it, which was, like, pre-vaccine. And that shit had me bedridden for, like, a straight week. Missing work, couldn't sleep, couldn't think, just total agony. Some coconuts. If only you had some bounce. Oh, they're up there, huh? This time, not so bad. You know, I'm, it was it was really nothing more than like a, a mild cold. Little sore throat action. A um, little congestion. Really not so bad. I work from home, so I didn't miss any work, which is nice. Got one. Is it worth it? There. Are. Um. The biggest thing really was, you know, I don't live alone. I live with my partner Jess. I live with her children, and so the biggest concern was just not getting anybody else sick. So I had to. Just kind of go full hermit mode, sleeping on the couch, wearing a mask everywhere around the house. Just trying to make sure nobody else popped a positive test. And I think we finally did it because I tested negative this morning. They've been testing negative all week. Such a relief because, I mean, number one, 
I don't want to get my family sick. Doesn't matter if it's COVID or the flu or, you know, in, indeed a, a mild cold. I don't want anybody to have to get sick around here. But then number two, because if they did, we would have to start the entire quarantine process all over again. The kids are supposed to be back in school. They weren't. They spent the entire week at home. But relative to what I've experienced before, what's we got a burrito bar. Three burritos. DF pay. What is that? Like some crypto shit? Um... Oh we, got, oh, we got the coconut. We just needed one coconut. We need the burrito foiled. I see. Do we have enough... coins? I think we do. We got the burrito. Now they're too expensive. That's better than Firefest. They had, like, that really depressing white bread and American cheese sandwich. And we got the fish. Yeah, I need a fishing pole. I'll give you one for free. Excellent. But you better come back and catch a few with me. Cool, we're making moves. You got the items? Oh, my hero! Well, quick, give them here! Come so in any case, on. if I sound a little hoarse, it's because I've not done a lot of talking. Hey, we're back up! this week. Come on in, everybody. That'll be Both because of my self-imposed exile and also because what? I did actually have, you don't have any money? a little bit of a sore throat, so trying to rest. Uh, well, rest uh, the pipes. I guess I owe you anyways. Otherwise, I might By have actually way, streamed the during the week, but it seemed inadvisable. Owner of this island and talent manager to this homie sounds a little bit like Watto. Here, this one's on me. Yeah, here you go. Away. I can't travel around the island. There's tons of people around here that I can't really do uh do some jobs. A Wado anymore without respect. feeling like I'm just maybe even a little gold on cash. <laughs> All right, the real festival, Annie. Is not a is not a scam, Annie. We completed the mission successfully. Great. We can go inside now? Can we go past the, the green... The green mist? The Targa Targaryen... <laughs> what is it called? The Inhumans mist? Um, my friend went in there an hour ago and I haven't seen him. I should probably call the cops now. Holy shit! Maybe he got transported to a different dimension via dressing room. Merch? Wow, wow. Okay, it's like a a hub for different areas. I could I could see this have, having been pretty cool with like a bunch of people playing it at the same time. The like multiplayer aspect of dreams is not I don't know like what the full capability is of that. Food court, medical area. We entered here. Campground. Yeah, I could just I could see this having been cool. I don't think Dreams has any like lobby chat, so at the very least you could run around and explore without anybody telling you to go fuck yourself. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't pay attention to what Watto Pig was telling me, so I'm not sure if I have a, a mission here. Rowboats, get us around. It's pretty nuts. So again, a bunch of users came together and, and made this possible. Put together this sort of Coachella-esque What the fuck? Did a tour game? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! Getting gibbed a bit in there. How do I play? <laughs> I 
Otherwise, been a pretty... I don't know. It's a pretty laid-back week. Been enjoying seeing my man Connor on here, playing Bully. Holding down Twitch. The Twitch Fort. I'm, I'm pretty excited that we're... We're committing to getting a, a solid presence on Twitch again. Whoa. I challenge thee to a fiddle off for your soul. I like that you can just tell him, eh, not right now. Yeah, let's give it a shot. So this is full of mini games and things to interact with and things to see and experience. Press L1 to bow your fiddle and drop a single note. The faster you bow, the more points you get. Be careful, if you bow too fast, your fiddle may squeak. 20 squeaks, and it will get your soul, baby. Okay, so we gotta go fast, but not too fast. Bring it on, you red bastard. Not that good. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? I thought it said L1. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not... This is not... Wait. Wait, that's not... That's not what you told me was going to happen. Hold on. You said L1. That... Come on now! They did not uh, L1 to bow your fiddle and drop a single note. The faster you bow, yeah, you did not. I did not get proper warning on what was about to happen there. Nor do I think even now I'm going to do any better. Rhythm games are are not are not my cup of tea. Jess and I went to. Uh, Round one a few weeks ago for uh, Brother Nick Mallbox. Okay. Oh wait. Okay, interesting. So, hold on. This is. Oh wait. Interesting. Okay, so when you hit L1, that's what gives it permission to drop the buttons down. I was just mashing it before, that's why it was way- it was completely unsustainable. Okay, okay. I'm probably- I'm probably still gonna fuck this up, but it's not as bad as it seemed the first time. Let's try again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I won? That seems unreasonable that I won. Um, what I was going to say is I played DDR with Jess at round one a few weeks ago, which is, if you've never been to a round one or don't have one near you, it's basically like a Dave and Busters, but even bigger. And I've never really played DDR before anyway. But I almost fucking threw up trying to play that. And we were on, like, baby difficulty. We were playing some song with Anime Girl artwork. I think Matt actually posted it on Snapchat. Obviously, it's gone now, but maybe you, maybe you saw it. But I was sweating like a, a dying pig, and I was on the verge projectile vomiting. It didn't help that I filled up on pizza and beer beforehand, but sweet Christ. Just an absolute travesty. Rhythm games, <clears throat> not my jam. Okay, I think we've maybe seen all there is to see here. Just some other tents, some other assets. Maybe check out one other spot. 
before we move on to something a little more streamlined. I've got a whole queue of stuff in my play later list. And I've not vetted any of it. It's just things that looked interesting. A lot of Dreamscom demos we didn't get to last time. Oh my god. It just uh, kind of sucks your Oh my god, it just sucks your camera in. Stop it! It's a neat idea, though. I like that they do these community game jams and things. Check out, where does this boat want to take us? The hub? Let's go to the ukulele beach. How to spend money? Oh, it's free. Let's go, Jerry. Jerry! Been loving... Am I controlling this? No. Been loving Connor's streams. <laughs> Playing Bully. I've just been, like, COVID status, marooned on the couch, watching every second of Connor's streams. Those are like the highlight of my week this week. Is watching him play bully. And if you missed that, go check out our YouTube. Where the archive of all those streams went up. Bully scholarship edition. Holy shit, look at this. We got like a... Um... What's happening? Oh my god. Got like a street shark? Looking for some volleyball action? We're about to start up a game if you want in. This is definitely somebody's fetish. Let's play. Excellent. Let's see what you got. All right, bro. Let's go uh, fucking play volleyball like fucking Top Gun, bro. And whatever each other's cloak is. Do sharks have cloak? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Jump. Dive. <clears throat> oh, he's not even here! He's a lifeguard. Oh, fuck. That's my bad. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, my bad. That's. I, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Give another shot. That was your bad. What the fuck? Sorry. Oh, actually, it didn't count against me, it looks like, that the NPC messed it up. We had not scored once. These guys are insane. They're insane. Ah! Oh, they don't miss! They don't miss! One more go, one more go, one more go. We got this. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. That one counted against us. Yeah! Fuck you! Okay. Here we go. This is it. Here we go. Just gonna stand it totally still. That's where they get you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, get it, get it. Yes! Oh, yeah! You gotta do good. Oh, the shark man's watching. Oh, he's gonna think I'm a fucking nerd if I lose. Come on, bro. Spike that shit, bro. Spike that shit. Oh my. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. We're gonna. Sorry. Nope. Not gonna. Not gonna let go. Not gonna. Not gonna just move on from that. Actually, playing this now. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Get your head in the game, bro. We're trying to impress people, come on. Playing this, like, completely alone, 
As far as I can tell, there's nobody, no actual other real people playing this right now at the moment. It gives me kind of like... What's, what can I compare this to? It's like a weird old, like, dead MMO. It's like if you're the last person playing Club Penguin, you know what I'm saying? And, like, all the NPCs are still there, and all the animations, and... Oh, my God. And, like... Event... Like, automated events are happening on schedule. But you're just there alone. With the weird simulated experience. Of going to, like, an awesome festival with your friends. But there are no friends, it's just you. It's just you and all the Westworld robots doing what they're supposed to, playing volleyball with you. God damn it! I gotta win volleyball, and then, like, I feel like we gotta see a musical performance. Maybe we just switch to music mode. We saw that earlier. And then we'll move on to something else. Yeah, fuck you. Something I learned last time I streamed this game was you can really get... Some of these creations can really last quite some time. Like, last time I played this, my intention was to do quite a few Dreamscom games. And I think we played three in total. Because they just... Bro! It just took that long, some of them. Some of these things will last you, like, 45 seconds. And others, you could literally they're like fully formed games you could play for hours yeah 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 eat my ass eat my sandy ass come on come on oh, we score one we score two. Oh my god it's impossible one more time one more time one more time Gotta see at least one music. Oh, gotta see at least one musical performance, right? Which again, because there's no actual. Oh my god, there's no actual people here. Are you kidding me? There's no actual people here. It's just gonna be like watching the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic band. Shug, Shug, what do you mean who's playing? What do you think's playing? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Can you hear me okay? Hope you can hear me. Who's playing volleyball? Me and a bunch of AI. Sounds like the great one. Um, no, it's not Connor. It's me. It's Taylor. It's not the great one. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay. Triple R? Streaming on Netflix, perhaps? Triple R? Okay, we're done. We're done, bye. We're bu it's impossible. It's liter literally impossible. Good job, bro. Okay. Can we go... Can we go back to... What's this do? Whoa. Whoa! You can see, like, a, the web of everything in this creation and how it all connects. Holy shit. Look at this. Um, how do we get back to the main menu of this? Or just get music, maybe? Or is this just going to play music? Yeah, just going to play music. How do we get back to the main... Oh. All right, I think we'll I don't know how to get back to that menu <laughs> do the music performance We're gonna exit this one. Maybe I'll come back and check this out on my own time because it's pretty neat But just wanted to uh, give that a look. Yeah, we did we did it's good. We like it. We like it I guess we could hit continue maybe and Check out the music mode and see what that's all about. I'm doing all right, Shug. I'm doing okay. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, we're out of here. I'm doing all right. I've been laid out with uh, COVID the last couple of days. 
but it's not been that bad. Definitely nothing compared to what it was before I was vaccinated. Which basically meant I had to stay on the couch and leave everybody alone just so I wouldn't get them sick. Uh, it could have it could have been a lot worse. I you know I'm pretty grateful that it wasn't, and I tested negative this morning. Finally, it took all week, but um, you know what? You go to a you go to emo night at a bowling alley. You're gonna come home with something you didn't leave with, right? Hands off my poutine. Make some delicious fries, but don't let the raccoons eat them before you do. Five short levels without speed scores. I saw a little bit of this. So there was there was like a community jam on this recently. They do these things like on a weekly basis or monthly basis. I'm not sure. Where they give like a prompt for people in game, I think. And everybody makes games based around that prompt. And I think this month's or weeks or whatever it was, was French cuisine. So, uh, yeah, well, it says right there. French cuisine jam. Play Joey. Usually that's herpes you come home with, but glad it was just COVID. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not what I'm saying. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been worse. Was it worth it in the end? Arguable. Oh, okay. Chop up some potatoes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Let me know if the sound's still okay. Dreams can be a little- oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dreams can be a little inconsistent with the sound sometimes, so... If I'm getting drowned out, please let me know. You know, like, fucking weirdo, weirdo, like, right-wing reactionaries love to be like, Oh, you got vaccinated, but you still got sick, right? Like, that's... Alright. They love that shit. They love saying that, but, like... As somebody who... As somebody who had COVID before getting vaccinated, and as somebody who's now had it after getting vaccinated, like... It's definitely what, you know, the science says. It's not going to stop you from getting sick, but it's going to great severely decrease your symptoms. And like, if that truly is what, what took place, like, I'm so, I'm so happy I got it because it made all the difference. Last, last time I had that shit, it was like, oh, I didn't boost. Just too busy talking about health. <laughs> too busy talking about everybody's favorite topic. COVID. Every, nobody's tired of hearing about COVID at this point, right? Uh, it, it made such a difference, I'm assuming. Ooh. Miss you, man. Sorry, I haven't been popping in more often. No, nah, man, no problem. No worries. You are not obligated to tune in, my friend. I know it's not so easy. Everybody's live is, lives are busy and complicated. I appreciate you tuning in at all, my man, and I miss you as well. I've been seeing you doing a lot of podcasting and streaming lately. Love to see it. Peak speed. Whoa. Okay. We we're car game now. We're Psychogenesis car game now. What does this have to do with poutine? A ghost in the sky you're trying to i feel you i was um i was actually talking about uh talking about this with matt the other night you know because i went on spin from the real oh okay i guess that was just a, like an intermission cheese curds get the cheese curds just make buffs. this music's fantastic i was on spin from the real the other night and that was the first time i'd really done any kind of podcast in a long time and i gotta say i had a, i really enjoyed it oh shit now granted we did a three hour podcast like basically talking about me <laughs> so if I, so like if i was ever gonna enjoy it like that was that was gonna be the one but i did I, it made me realize i do miss podcasting and doing shit in StreamYard and hanging out with people. It had been a really long time since I did it. And, um... 
you know, now that Schmodown's over, and that's not like my pri sole and primary project, it's like I've got this weird gap of, 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 of free time and like energy and like mental capacity that like Schmodown was completely consuming all on its own before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trick jump. Trick jump. Make it pops. Add your choice of seasonings and extra toppings. We're almost done, baby. So, like, I have this drive and this, like, desire to stay occupied and busy. Poutine to the grave? Okay. Get back to the kitchen. Yes, Daddy. I have this drive to, like, keep going and keep busy and keep doing stuff and, like, remain productive. Like, I don't want that that drive and that urge to fade away, so I'm just gonna try to throw myself in to as many projects and, like, creative endeavors as I can right now. That's why I've been streaming a lot more on Twitch, playing games, which I'm really excited about, because I, I, I think... At least I have a lot of fun doing it. You know, if we can get folks interested to come hang out, like I think it could be really worthwhile and be a lot of fun. I have a lot of games I like to play. A lot of ideas. Oh shit! Um, collaborations and stuff I'd like to do. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking about maybe getting back into the podcast game and just staying busy in that aspect. And it's a little intimidating because I feel like everybody, like everybody in the space I've gotten, you know, acquainted with in the last year or so, everybody's got a podcast. Everybody's got a stream. So it's like, what am I going to do to stand out in that space? But man, I'm really just dumping curds. I just jump. No. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cheese it. Supposed to be going here. I'm just trying to stay busy and stay inspired and have shit in the works, you know. I don't want to get complacent. I don't want to get lazy, because I've been that guy before. Granted, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make like what I'm doing right now sound <laughs> Like a really altruistic, uh, you know, endeavor. I'm driving around a cart full of cheese curds to make poutine right now, but the raccoons are coming. You know, just as far as like for for myself, like it, it's beneficial for for me to be doing this. I feel like, like for my own my own health and my own motivation. You made enough to share with everyone. Oh, okay. The raccoons were coming. It didn't matter. We had enough to share and everybody was happy. We were so worried about getting their hands off our poutine. It didn't matter. Croissant clown. Eat as many croissants as possible. Avoid getting blown away. Feed the clown. Controls? Controls doesn't do anything. Play doesn't do anything. One of those buttons work. X is chop. Left stick, move head. All right, I think we can keep up with that. Three, two, one, go! Oh my god. Feed the clown. Feed him. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Feed him. I, I I can't I can't get the food. I'm I just keep eating bombs. Oh. Oh. There it is. You're playing Call of Duty. Oh 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 oh, oh my God. 
Yeah, I bet you've never seen this shit in Call of Duty before. Or maybe you have! I don't know, I don't really understand what Call of Duty is anymore. I see all, a lot of crazy shit on Call of Duty these days. I just try, uh, uh, Eat a croissant, please. It's so... <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks! Please! Uh, you think you got it, like you think you've... Ah! Uh, you think you've measured the geometry correctly of this. Let's eat the croissant. And then it just dips off his fucking clown tongue. And there's bombs! They didn't say they were gonna be bombs. Croissant. Qu croissant. Please! Let, <laughs> let me eat croissant! Ugh! Oh. I can't get him. You, you, look at that! The bombs just go right in. The croissant bounces right off. This is what dreams is all about. I always start my dreams stream off trying to explain like, what is this? A lot of people haven't heard of it. They don't know what to expect. I should just play this at the start of every dream stream. Give it a thumbs up. I already did. I, I previewed this one a little bit. When I added it to my list, I couldn't not... I couldn't not check it out. Quartier de Masseur. Fancy some cakey treats? Visit the bakery and take a look at what's on offer in this French-inspired scene. So you get these sometimes, too. So this is a scene. So, like, people don't just exclusively make games in this. They make this. They make scenes, like envir like this is, you know, an environment you can explore. Sometimes they're just kind of images to observe and admire. This one you can actually walk around. Look at this. And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think if the creator of this were so inclined, they could upload this as like an asset you could use. And so you could take this, which is it's fucking beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. The same game that the croissant eating clown was made in, you could also make this. It's like a, a living painting. Oh my gosh, we can go inside. Oh my gosh, we can go inside. I think if you were so inclined, you could like, maybe they have, like upload this to the community creations and somebody could also like make a game inside this level so if you wanted to you could do like a first person shooter <laughs> call of duty level in this if you wanted you could do like some french bakery death matches look at this oh man don't you wish don't you wish we'd have figured out smell -O vision by now look at this cannoli Take the cannoli, leave the gun. Or no, leave the gun, take the cannoli, rather. This reminds me, I feel like this place smells like, what's this? We eat? Oh, look at this. We can just go over wherever we want. King of the castle. We can just take a look in here, don't mind if we do. One of my last trips to LA when I went out there for the Schmodown. You know, whenever I'd go out there, I'd try to pick up some souvenirs for Jess and the kids. Nothing too big and fa or fancy, you know. Didn't really have the extra funds to go all out like I would have liked to, but I always try to find something for them and bring it home, you know. And I went to the Universal City Walk. Which is probably a pretty familiar locale for any LA native. But if you're not an LA native, it's, you know, it's kind of like an outdoor mall off the side of Universal Studios. Got a big AMC over there. A lot of, like, Universal related shops, movie merch, stuff like that. Cool area. At least to a tourist like me. And they had, I don't remember what, exactly what it was called, but they had, like, this bath treat boutique. And it smelled so fucking good. And everything in it looked like food, but it was all stuff you put in your bath. 
So it was like soaps and bath bombs and scrubs and all this stuff looked like cupcakes and ice cream and donuts. And everybody in my house, myself included, is like a passionate bath taker. Mmm, cake. So I ended up spending, you go in there and it's like a car dealership, like, lady just knew, she saw me, deer in headlights, and she was just like, hi, let me follow you around and carry a tray for you and tell you how great everything is in here and there's no prices posted up for anything. And she was just, I was like all, I was all like wired and stressed out too because my flight got canceled the night before. She was like, oh my god, it's so, that's so I'm so sorry, that's terrible. Your flight got canceled? It's almost like... <laughs> this is rude. I think it's kind of rude, but it's like... Or at least it's how I imagine, you know, you like... You have these like stressed out like... Office employees that go to like a strip club. Talking about how hard their work at... Their week at work was, and the dancers are like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Let me make it all better for you. You want to buy a dance? But except this lady was soaps and bath bombs. She was like, oh, come over here. Wash your hands with this scrub. This is a de-stressing scrub. Sounds like you need it. Do you want to buy it? Just taking me for a fucking ride. What did I do? I had to accept this car full of baguettes. I'm not sure what we did. The baguettes came out. Can we get one? No, can't get a baguette. Anyway, I bought a ton of... I... Hello? There's a croissant in the sewer. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Or, bonjour, Georgie. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Who's meowing? Oh, this guy. Anybody watch Lone Survivor, they know. Oh, stop it! You're making me want to take a cat home! There's not a stray cat around here, is there? Because I'll spend an hour and a half of my stream trying to figure out how to get it to come home with me. I came home with a lot of fucking bath bombs and um, ice cream shaped soaps is the end of that story. And it was nice. They smelled very good. Everybody was very happy to have them. Uh, this is very lovely. It's just nice. This would be a lot of fun, like, if you open this up even more, and you can do a lot of VR stuff with Dreams. You know? I'm not, I, you know, I'm not in a position I want to go to Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. Looks pretty shit. But this... Look at this. Now that, this feels... Oh! Hello! Put a VR headset on me, I'd come hang out in this place. Open up some of these buildings. This is really nice. That's really nice, I like that. Okay, we're done with our French cuisine jam. Uh, came across this, and I, I, don't, I don't know if it's a game, but it just looked really cool. Akira. I fucking love this movie. Capsule Gang takes place one year before the Tetsuo accident. You hang out with the Capsule in their day-to-day -day lives beating up clowns and hang out at various spots. Chapter 1. Kaneda! Tetsuo Kaneda! I love this movie. If someone wants to do something with Akira, then I'm mostly fine with it. Thirty years after World War III, AD 2018, Neo Tokyo. You ever seen Akira Shug? I'm by no means like an anime savant, but I've seen a couple of the big ones and I love Akira. This bike? This. this looks pretty damn good. Meet Yamagata at the bar. Holy shit. I kind of want to just ride the bike, but 
Wait, did it say you can ride the bike? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can ride the bike. Go meet Yamagata at the bar. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Okay, we're going to get to ride the bike another time. Later. I love Akira. I love, you know... Basically, cyberpunk is like an aesthetic and a subgenre. And I think Akira is just one of the best examples of cyberpunk. Fuck you! Everybody credits Blade Runner, and, and appropriately so, but I think... Akira has a lot of stake to claim as well. Here, man. Now that being said, I don't remember who Yamagata is. Get some capsules. <laughs> Take a pill. All right. Look at that. Windows movie maker filter. Love that. Are you Yamagata? You are. Oh, wait. Should I take another pill? My bad. Take a ride. Let me know if the game audio is too quiet, because now it sounds pretty quiet in my ears. But maybe that's not the case on the stream. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is all I really want to do. Is ride the bike. And drift. Lean forward and press R2. Use the left analog stick towards the direction you want to go. Yeah, let's go! Whoa, whoa, back off, fucko! I, I don't have I, I don't have any attack buttons that I know of. I'm just trying to ride. Clown gang, let me bang, bro. Oh, you son of a bitch! Does look pretty cool visually. A, a little janky in some aspects, but really, actually pretty cool how they applied like an anime art style to a 3D game. Okay, I think we got away from the clown. Croissant eating clown game. We lost our boy. Saw Jordan Peele homage the famous bike slide scene and nope. Which I might be misremembering this, but I feel like Jordan Peele was attached to do the live action Akira adaptation. There it is, bike slide! live-action Akira movie they've been talking about doing for decades at this point. Chapter 2, Tetsuo, to be announced. Oh, shit, there it is. Okay, that was cool. Matter of fact, I'll even follow the creator of this. And then maybe we can check out next episode when that comes out. Text Gadget Laboratory. This room is the perfect place for me to experiment all the text gadgets possible. This is a single skull. There's not a single skull. It's visible. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a game or what this is. Meanwhile...
Look at this. Isn't this awesome? The way you can just go from completely distinct experiences, one after the other. Not, not completely sure what this is or what I'm doing if I'm just experiencing it. Little peeper. Oh. Can I go in? Can I go down here? Maybe just like a proof of proof of concept kind of thing. Some sort of workshop thing. Neat. I need to face your anxiety. Yeah, absolutely not. That's why I'm playing video games, dude. I'm not trying to confront that right now. Who are you kidding? Looking for distractions. Not introspection. Give me a break. Okay. This is neat. Not sure if there's more to see in this, but pretty cool and strikingly different than what we were just doing. I'll say it once. I'll say it every single time I stream this game. If you take a shot every time I do, you'll have to go to the hospital, but it is Pretty incredible what you give these the same tools to different people. It's pretty incredible what they come up with. All right, disdain. Now this is I was saying earlier. Some of these things you play for a few minutes. Some of these playing things you play for hours. Uh, this is like a full blown game. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this. Disdain, depravity of the night. Play as Gideon as he sets out to find his missing family. Face off against the nocturnal evils and evade the mysterious castle, which holds the truth. Two years in development, 80 scenes, combat, bosses, enemy variety, scenery. So this is like a full-blown game. I, I read somewhere that this was like hours long. And we're not going to just spend the rest of the dreams stream playing this. But we'll check it out for a little bit. Maybe it's something I'll come back and play more. Fuck yeah, look at this! play more of my own time kind of a Castlevania type game story intro yeah set us up the story your life is a lie now comes your moment of truth Humanity is lost. Oh my gosh. All that was fought, all that was promised, is dead. And it is not by chance that Ruination came to be. Gideon was the top soldier, valiant general, and servant to the Order of the Miracle. A denomination whose mission was to conquer and subjugate against the sinister and profane evil that threatened the world. After fulfilling his duties and seemingly purging the land of evil, he left the Order of the Miracle to devote his time to his family and to lead a simple, less ugly life with his beloved, betrothed Elizabeth and his young daughter, Evelyn, who taught him the meaning of true love and uh -huh. delectation. He lived his life for theirs. Gideon's hopes and promises of a better fulfilled life, however, have been taken from him. He awakens to find his village under siege and his wife and child are missing. The scourge had ravaged the land and almost all those who were living were now dead. Now, 
Driven by a new purpose, Gideon embarks on a journey to save family and to dismantle those who are responsible for the disappearance of his wife. Okay, 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 okay. okay. The right, congregation. All right. I'm in spit. Let's get let's get to the game here. Look at this. It's a full blown game. Incredible. Not even started yet, and I'm already impressed. I'm not sure how much Dreams costs right now. When I bought it originally, I think it was like 40 bucks. But you spend 40 bucks and then you get like infinite content. Pretty incredible. Take a response to some friends. That's the square. Okay. We got kind of like a 3D Castlevania action game. Oh shit. Done. Got attack variety. Okay, so we can crouch. Crouching. Slide. Woo, look at that. Sin attack. Sin purple meter to cast a spell. And I can switch Sin attacks, okay? I sin the shit out of that. Virtue attack. Virtue cast a spell. Oh! <laughs> Filling your powers, stealing your enemies to refill your virtue and sin meters. The longer you remain close, the more it refills. Oh, so we just get like a murder boner. Power up. Double jump. Slash. Dark kick. Thunder. Thunder punch! Okay. Okay, Gideon. Okay. Blood loathe. Thunder punch. Kill his ass. Yes. Got him. Energy moves. Moves below consume your energy above health. Oh, we do have a shield. Okay. Woo! Gideon, no, you have died. Okay. Rise again, Gideon. Is this really loud? It's really loud in my ears, so let me know if you can't hear me. Is it like a... It's like a master volume option. Music volume. No, maybe turn the sound effects down a little bit. Maybe that's better. I'm the stamina, okay, okay. Oh, 
A little tough. A little tough here. Oh! Just gotta get the rhythm down a little bit. We're even worse for wear. It's last time we did this. Ooh. Gotta get that stamina up, boy. Eat the sin. Eat the sin. Oh, Gideon, no. You have died. John Parr in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. I was watching you play Pokemon earlier, my man. Doing a little Nuzlocke action. Ooh. Didn't clock that was me. I mean, yeah, I just awkwardly, like, didn't... Oh, fuck. Like, just didn't tell you either, so... That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I stream on this. I stream on the Watt channel. But, basically, I watch everybody else on my own Twitch account, which I don't stream from. I don't know why I do that. Alright, let's see if we can at least get past these guys. We haven't successfully done it. I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend too, too long in any one creation. I know this is like a full fledged game. So we're definitely not going to see all of this. But I definitely wanted to check it out because I just saw a lot of people on the Dreams Reddit and stuff talking about it. Forgot Dreams was a thing. A lot of people don't know about it at all. I feel like it never quite got the recognition it deserves, considering people are still making, like, really cool content on it. Fuck me. Case in point. Alright, we're good. Maybe we'll do some more of this one day. This is cool. Uh, I definitely didn't spend enough time with it. Concerning that somebody spent two years developing this, but I fucking suck. Oh shit, no, don't do that. No, don't do that either, shit. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Yeah, only got one and a half donkey videos before it dropped out of folks' minds. I, I, one of the streamers I really like is uh, Vine Sauce. And he used to stream this all the time. Oh, that's the wrong button. Um, Vine Sauce, yeah, Vinny. He used to stream this all the time. And I always thought it was really cool. And I, if I, I always figured if I ever got into streaming, I'd want to check this out. Because, like, you can just go on a, a true adventure with this anytime you play it. With, like, no indication of where you're going to end up or what you're going to see or experience. <laughs> You might get, like, a full-blown game. You might, um... You might just throw croissants into a clown's mouth for two minutes. Oh, we got, like, a dash? You see that shit? <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't realize we got a dash move. That's gonna help. People are still making really compelling stuff in here. I mean, everything I've played tonight has been made in just the past couple of weeks, I think. <laughs> Clown croissant. Clown croissant was really hard. Come on, son. I'm doing better in this than I did in Clown Croissant, and I'm not doing so great in this. Oh, shit. Come on, no, 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 no. 
Okay. Sh Maybe I'm also putting too much stock in the shield, because it clearly is... Clearly is not in a... A perfect defense. Yeah, we gave it a thumbs up. Pretty cool. Something I would... Maybe check out some more in my own time, but don't want to spend too much time in it. Seems like pretty involved. Um, I want you to live. And as somebody who likes to play and stream a lot of horror content, there is a... Oh my god. There's a lot of it on <laughs> dreams, as I think we're about to find out. A lot of clowns. A lot of clowns tonight. I don't know what that is. I want you to live. Can you survive this escape room style thriller solve riddles and uncover who is truly behind the madness twist ending okay how the how's the nuzlocke going so far do we lose anybody yet try combining different buttons hints are limited we're just pressing buttons okay square we got a little scoot <laughs> triangle triangle we're doing this circle controls eyebrows okay and X, we're tapping our foot. Okay, wait. This? Oh, we gotta get that key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait a minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, oh, no. Every single button. Every single button controls a different aspect of this. It's a foot game. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Scoot forward. And then lean forward. You gotta hold all the buttons then. And then dip forward. No, not yet. Not yet. No, not eyebrows. No, not foot. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh. Oh, we can we can move side to side. Um, I'm definitely not getting out of here in ten seconds. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I want you to live. It says. Okay, wait. We get. Oh no! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna. I am trying to combine different buttons, okay? I'm trying my best. We lean this forward. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, 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 hold on. <laughs> oh! Okay. Get it. No. Okay. We don't want to knock it off the table, do we? Oh! We'll never get it now. We're fucked! Well, no. <laughs> well, why, why is there an eyebrow button? My grippers? I don't I don't think I can get him down there. <laughs> Just look down at it. Uh, can we get our feet on the floor? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> How would I ever Oh no. Oh no. How would I ever memorize? I know there's a hint. Okay, we'll take a hint on the next run. Shockmaster. I am the Shockmaster. Hold R1. Oh, this, we already, I guess we already figured out this much. And then this. Okay. Now we need to be able to... I don't think we want it on the floor, right? Okay, we get this. I gotta shift it even further. I don't. Maybe that's not it either. No! <laughs> oh! I don't know that we want it to get on the floor. What's the next tent? Hold them both. And something else. Oh! Okay. Okay. Now put, put foot up, put foot, no, no, <laughs> put foot up. 
this is oh my god this is this is too much okay 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 come on uh, get it uh. 